Suge Knight has never been shy to take shots at Diddy. And now that the bad boy mogul is facing a slew of sexual assault cases, the ex-Death Row record CEO has retaliated. Suge Knight rehashed the pair's lifelong animosity in the latest episode of his Collect Hall, with Suge Knight Podcast, which dropped on Friday, November 24, and revealed even more charges concerning Puff's alleged aggression against women. What Puffy done? What Puffy did? Or what Puffy do? Is not a surprise everybody know what it is. He went on to say, I mean, you gotta be able to do that to a woman and other women. But it's not like this is breaking news. In an interview with co-host Dave Mays, Suge then stated that Diddy once attacked a female staffer for failing to inform him of Cassie's supposed affair with Kid Cutie. Same time he beat the shit out of Muthafucking Cassie, he had an assistant by the name of Capricorn. He went on to say, he felt Cap was keeping this shit under wraps about whether she was messing with Cutie or not. Puffy stomped the snot out of her. Not only did he beat the crap out of her, but an Interscope person, an Interscope check paid her to settle so he wouldn't go to jail. Knight, who is currently serving a 28-year sentence in prison for a fatal hit and run, later joked, I don't want to see you go down, but if you need a celly, I'll give you my cell. Boy, prepare your cooking skills. I don't want your head, but you're going to have to clean toilets. Hip Hops contacted Diddy's agents about the situation. But they declined to comment for the record. Suge Knight and Diddy's feud dates all the way back to the 1990s. At the 1995 Source Awards, Knight famously slammed his East Coast rival, accusing him of upstaging his artists by appearing in music videos and songs. Cassie's recent lawsuit against Diddy revealed that the struggling bad boy CEO had attempted to ambush the Death Row Records co-founder. Cassie and Diddy were partying one night when a member of Puff's security team warned him that Knight was approaching, according to the lawsuit, which included allegations of rape domestic abuse, and sex trafficking. 